Greetings. Welcome to Queen L LLC. This is Queen L. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today's video is regarding chakras. So this is chakras 101. I will talk about the seven main chakras. Now, what are chakras? Chakras are known as energy stores within our body. So they're in certain places within our body and they represent certain aspects of who we are on the inside, as well as aspects of um, just our body in the physical sense and um, areas of our body that are actually physically affected by whether or not those chakras are blocked or whether they are open or aligned. Now, the history of um, the term chakra, it comes from um, well, reports are that it comes from ancient India texts known as Vedas, and um, they're mentioned in those texts um, at approximately 1500 to 1000 BC. Now, um, like I said, there are the seven main chakras, but um, what is um, discussed and not necessarily known definitively, but what are discussed are approximately 114 chakras overall and um, that breakdown is the seven main chakras um, 21 minor chakras and about 86 micro chakras so they all just keep breaking down um, there is a number and a color associated with each chakra so we will discuss the seven main ones today now um, also what is circulating in the present time. Um, this video is filmed in 2023. So in, in the present time, um, there is a 12 point chakra system. So it includes the seven main chakras. And then there are four uh, chakras that um, represent or exemplify elevated levels of consciousness. And then there's one that is um, more grounded and it represents our connection to earth and it's called the earth star chakra but again we will focus on the seven main ones today now um, typically when people talk about the chakras um, sometimes they go from the one at the top of our head or our crown chakra down to the root chakra which is at the base of our spine or um, the groin area the base of the essence of us um, but what I have seen more often than not is um, starting the chakras, um, discussing the chakras from the root chakra on up to the crown chakra. So that's what I will do here today. But there is no real um, right or wrong way to discuss them. Now, the root chakra, it is, like I said, it is, um, it's down at the base of the spine. It is represented by the color red. And as you can um, defer from the term root, this chakra is all about getting down to the root of who you are. Um, it embodies grounding energy and um, when blocked, that would represent an emotional insecurity. Um, also physically, it would represent digestive issues at the base, um, including the bladder, the colon, and also arthritis in those areas would indicate having that chakra blocked or misaligned. Now, a well-aligned and open root chakra is um, indicative of feeling secure and um, feeling grounded and centered. So when one talks about feeling grounded and centered, um, when you are feeling that way in a most optimal manner, that root chakra is open. Now, the next chakra we will discuss moving on up from the root chakra is the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is located just below the belly button, but above the pubic area or the pubic bone. Now, um, orange is the color that's represented by the sacral chakra. And um, this chakra represents one's enjoyment and um, creative energy. When your sacral chakra is open, those creative juices are flowing. When the sacral chakra is blocked, um, you may have issues with your sexual organs or um, function. 
um, or even urinary issues um, or issues with your self-worth, okay? It's because this is um, just the area that um, encapsulates that. Now, um, again, to have one that's well aligned and open means um, that your self-worth and your um, self-values are intact and um, we would find and seek pleasure in areas of our life with ease. And so that would indicate that the sacral chakra is open. Next, we have the solar plexus chakra. Now, the solar plexus chakra, it's located in our abdomen. So that's where um, that chakra is represented. The color that represents the solar plexus chakra is yellow. And it represents our confidence. Okay. Now, a blocked solar plexus chakra is um, revealed in digestive issues, um, including heartburn and indigestion. And a well-aligned and open solar plexus chakra, it's shown when we exemplify um, personal power over our lives. We feel empowered. We have self-confidence in our lives. Now, the next chakra is our heart chakra. And this one is located in what's known as the heart center or the center of our chest. This chakra is represented by the color green. You would think of red because red is typically um, often identified with the term love or our heart. But um, no, red is for the root chakra. Green is for the heart chakra. Now, a blocked heart chakra would be represented by, um, and you think about the physical sense of what we have here in our um, heart center or the center of our chest. Um, there would be respiratory issues um, or heart issues as well. Um, emotionally, it would be um, being a martyr in your life or in situations, putting others before your own wellness. It's okay to put others ahead of yourself just as far as your caring and compassion, but it's not really um, for your betterment or your overall well-being to um, put yourself you know, on the back burner to your own detriment. So now, what would be the signs of a well-aligned and open heart chakra? Now, that would be shown in our dealings with others, showing compassion, having empathy for others. Those would be ways that would be indicative of having a well-aligned and open heart chakra. Now, the next chakra is our throat chakra. Now, as the word states, this one's located in our throat. And um, the color that's representative of the throat chakra is blue. And this chakra is all about communication. It's how we communicate with others effectively or ineffectively sometimes. Um, how we communicate about our own needs, our own desires, how we express ourselves verbally. Now, this chakra when it um, experiences a blockage or it is um, misaligned then um, there are inner mouth and throat issues that could come up um, as well as being overly communicative um, gossipy um, overbearing not letting someone else get a word in because you're just taking over the conversation um, and also not speaking up for yourself not advocating for yourself those would be ways that um, a misaligned or a blocked throat chakra would um, be represented in one's life. Now, in the um, converse, having a well-aligned and an open throat chakra would be indicated by feeling empowered to speak up for yourself, advocate for yourself. Again, this is verbally um, expressing yourself in an effective manner, being an active listener, so um, being thoughtful and tactful about the way that you communicate with others and obviously not gossiping, not um, cutting people down with the words that you say, okay? Now, um, the third eye chakra is next. So that one is located here between our eyes. And this chakra is also known as the brow chakra for that reason. Now, this chakra is represented by the color indigo and it represents our intuition and our imagination. Now, a blocked third eye chakra would be represented by not using your intuition, not tapping in 
um, not being reflective about things going on in your life. And um, a well-aligned and open third eye chakra would be represented by someone who actually trusts and follows their intuition. Now, the last of the seven main chakras for the first, depending on the order that you go in, is um, the crown chakra that's located at the top of our heads or our crown. And this color um, that represents the crown chakra could be violet or white, depending on the um, lane of thought that you're in. Now, this chakra is represented by intelligence and being aware, um, also being connected to higher learning and elevated consciousness. Now, remember I said that there is a 12 chakra um, system that is going around right now, and it includes four elevated states of consciousness, like heightened consciousness, but the seven main chakras have the seven, if you're counting from the root up, um, being the crown chakra and that chakra representing um, higher state of um, intelligence and consciousness and awareness. Now, a blocked crown chakra um, would show up as narrow-mindedness, um, just being closed-minded, being stubborn in your way of thinking, while a well-aligned or open crown chakra would be um, demonstrated by um, having enlightenment and having an open mind in the way that you view others, the way that you view yourself, the way that you view the world, okay? Now, how do we identify if we have chakras that are out of alignment and um, which ones there are that would be out of alignment potentially? Now, the easy way, so there's an easy way and it's a more um, time, you know, consuming way. The easy way would be um, there are a lot of free websites that you can go on. You can just search for one and they have a survey that you would fill out and you answer some questions just asking you about how you think about different things in the present moment, um, how you're feeling about different areas. They're just different types of random questions. They're not so random, but they will seem some, you know, somewhat random when you're doing them. Sometimes the chakra um, results report would be represented in a bar graph where you can see um, in relation to the other chakras, how each chakra ranks in your life. And this is at the present moment. And the reason why I say at the present moment is because um, sometimes we have chakras that are misaligned or blocked, and then others may be um, in alignment or open. Sometimes our chakras are overactive, like um, one area of our life is um, not just in an increased level of um you know optimalism if that's even a word but sometimes they're overactive so um there can be too much of a good thing depending on the area of your life that that chakra represents um i like doing those types of surveys just to see what the results will say but i will say that that's a pretty general way to identify um where you are with your chakras because those surveys, they don't know you. They are asking questions that can get a gauge of where you are, but they're not really the depth of who you are, especially depending on how you're answering the questions. It's just a lot of external factors. Now, the more time consuming way and the way that I recommend is to do something that's more holistic. Do um, a wellness check is what I like to call it. Um, do some reflecting to identify areas where you may be, you know, out of alignment and can use some tweaking based off of knowing what it looks like, what it means to have certain chakras be misaligned. So then you do some reflecting to determine, okay, am I kind of doing that in that area? Is that me? Does that look like me? Is that seem like how I am right now in the present moment? Well, maybe that chakra is a bit off. Maybe that chakra is blocked right now. If you feel off in the physical sense in certain areas, you can do some introspection and decide, determine if maybe it's not, you know, now obviously for health, you know, reasons, I would recommend um, 
seeking professional help with a medical professional. But aside from some underlying condition, um, it could have something to do with those chakras as well. Okay. Now, um, I would say to open any blocked chakras, um, there is um, an author of the book, Advanced Chakra Healing. Her name is Cindy Dell. And she says to make sure that you first identify if you're holding on to energy that doesn't even belong to you. Um, I would say, especially if you're an empath, um, that you may be absorbing or holding on to um, energy that someone else has kind of, you know, released onto you, um, either consciously, um, subconsciously, or even unconsciously, um, that if you are, once you reflect on that, and then release those energies and return them to the sender, then you can say, okay, now let me do a wellness check and see um, what areas may be misaligned in my life. Now, the way that you can release those energies, you can do that through meditation, you can do that through shadow work, through journaling, just to really um, be aware and tune into every aspect of you um, to see if there are some aspects of you that, you know, maybe I'm only feeling this way as a reaction to something that has taken place or um, being in a certain environment. When I left, I felt drained. I felt, you know, my head hurt, you know, um, I felt kind of tight, you know. Um, then those are times when you definitely need to release the things that no longer serve you, essentially, and let go of that energy so that you may really check in on yourself because that essentially had nothing to do with you. It was your reaction to um, the energy, the external forces that were around you, okay? Now, um, ways to, after you've done that, ways to open up any blocked chakra. Some of the ways are journaling helps. That helps you to do that wellness check as well. Um, meditation, using mudras, during meditation and those are um, some hand symbols that um, I like to use um, when I feel so inclined and I will have a video about that um, coming soon but um, placing a hand over the area um, where that chakra um, lives so that you can really tune in your focus turn your awareness toward that specific chakra um, also yoga there are specific poses or postures that you can find online that help to release any um, unwanted um, or unuseful energy and also to open up different chakras and then also um, there are Reiki practitioners energy workers who help with blocked chakras so I hope that this video has been helpful to you today um, as always, it's been a pleasure. I will be in touch. Peace. Ashe.